Hello everyone, my name's Bob Mitch and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. I've got another little mini guide for you here today. This time I thought I'd go through a tour of where the current in-game armors and weapons are and where to find them. If you're a regular player of Star Citizen, then odds are you most likely know where to find this equipment anyway. However, this is more aimed towards those who might have just pledged for their first ship or are who are perhaps taking advantage of a free fly weekend. In either case, welcome to the madness of the Alpha. This information is current as of the 3.1.4 alpha, and I don't foresee too many changes incoming with 3.2, aside from the Olisar collection and some new weapons, obviously, which I'll go through when they come out. If they're significant ones, then I'll most likely update this video if it's useful to people in the future. Right then, we begin our journey in Port Olisar, where you initially spawn, circumstantially of course, depending on what you've been doing in the game. If we start our runaround on the ship deck, both the armour and the weapon shops are opposite our friend at the desk here, so we'll spin around and go outside. As you can see on the sign, our weapon is to the left, so we'll start there. It's important to note here that for the majority of the basic weapons, such as pistols and SMGs, every location sells them. More specialised weapons, however, are only sold within certain stores. For instance, the Gemini Ballistic Shotgun here is only sold at Olisar and Levski, and not at Grim Hex. That's just one example. Every store sells ammunition, however, of pretty much every weapon, so in a pinch, wherever you land, you can restock on ammo. The same goes for Medipens and Oxypens. Oxypens aren't working at the moment, but it's important to have a couple of Medipens for nasty bullet wounds or if the buggy space kraken strikes and something goes wrong. Moving to the opposite side then, we have the Garrity Defence Store, which sells armour and undersuits. Garrity houses the majority of the Robert Space Industries undersuit variants. They all have the same function, they're just different colours. Olisar is the only location you'll find the Beacon undersuit and the MacFlex armour that you can see here. The same applies to the TCS4 undersuit here and its accompanying UEE Marine armour, which comes in three flavours. Light, medium and heavy. The heavier the armour, the more it costs. Keep in mind heavier armour will let you carry more, but it'll also mean that you'll move slower. It'll also restrict your first person vision slightly, depending on the helmet. The same goes for medium armour. Our last three RSI suits here round off Olisar's collection as of 3.1.4. Whenever you purchase armour, you don't buy a complete set with one purchase, even down to the undersuits. You need to purchase the undersuit, arms, chest piece, helmet and boots all separately. They're all individually priced and as before, the heavier the set, generally the more it'll cost you. For instance, the heavy armour chest pieces alone are 3000 credits. This rounds off our look at Olisar, and now we'll jump to the next window shop which is located at Grimhex, which is obviously in orbit around Yila. When you're inside, grab one of the elevators down to the core. Looking away from the bar next to the lifts, hang a left around the main area and go through the doors at the top of the stairs. To your right here is our next stop. Grimhex is the only spot that you'll find all of the sets here, with the exception of the red stone skin undersuit. You'll only find the microid nomadic set here too, if the Tuscan Raider aesthetic is your thing. These here are considered the pirate armour, just like the UEE marine armour collection from Olisar, you've got three flavours. The calico here is the light, the dust up is the medium, and the defiance is the heavy. The same cost value rules apply as before. For weapons, you'll find some unique skin variations here that can't be found at other locations, as well as this shop being one of the two that sells the Scourge Railgun here. It's pricey though. This rounds off Grim Hex, so now we'll head to our last stop, the Levski Colony within Delamar. Once you've landed, dash for the customs elevator and head into the main atrium. Grab one of the large elevators here and head down into the Grand Barter Market. The weapons and armour are split up here at Levski more than they are elsewhere. So first, head for the Conscientious Object Store and we'll find our weapons here. 
Once more, you'll find generic supplies as well as more skin variations for the current weapons. Again, the Gemini shotgun is also here. The most critical piece of Levski is that it's the only location you can grab the Arrowhead sniper rifle in-game, unless you've got the subscriber variants. When you're done here, we head downstairs into the main market area and for the shops named Cordroys. Cordroys? Cordris? One or the other. In here, you'll find the Desert Tan variants of the pirate armors from Grim Hex. You'll also find some RSI suits again. This green forest variant is only sold here. Levski's main piece is the RSI Venture suit, which is only sold here. It's currently my favourite suit to wear. This rounds off our tour. Shop around and see what you like. Remember that you don't have to wear sets as though they were a set, even though they come as such. You can mix and match to your heart's content, just remember to balance both your fancy looks and protection value depending on what you're doing in the verse. Once you've bought what you want, it'll stay in your inventory and not be lost, at least until the next patch lands and your characters reset. Enjoy and have fun.